Hello to everyone, this is Adventure Story and today I would like to share with you some important things which you must have in your mind where, when you are operating Framo pumps, Framo system, okay? This is, uh, which I will tell to you, this is from one seminar of uh, Framo and this is uh, my notes which I have from this seminar this is about uh, 52 notes which uh, I listened carefully and I wrote on my paper okay I have here this is 52 I tried to translate them because I, read, I write them in uh, Greek language okay uh, I have something important that uh, for a cargo cargo hold okay uh, one very dangerous cargo it's a uh, Siborna as that uh, teacher was saying in this uh, lesson he told that this Siborna cargo I never experienced this kind of cargo also I do not uh, have experience on Framo but uh, he told that uh, this kind of cargo must be washed properly uh, so to avoid the st stack of uh, the cargo inside the pumps this is very important okay the level inside the tank uh, plays serious role uh, this is I believe this is uh, means the level inside the hydraulic oil must be monitored carefully uh, this is the uh, same for all machine hydraulic machinery the level plays important role because hydraulic machinery works with hydraulic pressure and uh, hydraulic material okay always must be working one pump to circulate the oil in the system and the system must have uh, pressure always as working on pump for circulating of oil this is the second one and uh, the third uh, one the valve before the pump must be opened uh, every three months also I'd like to say that uh, if you have any uh, experience on these pump pumps send your comments about I like to learn also about them, uh, how they work. But uh, as I speak with one engineer, one engineer, third engineer, he have experience in Framo. He tell me that Framo pumps is the heaven of uh, marine engineers. Okay, because they're simple. He told me, and uh, they do not touch nothing this system because this system uh, needs some expert to be maintained and overhauled again okay. let's go to number four uh, we never start the pump with a lot of uh, rpm first to open the suction uh, this is correct because uh, if you have not opened the suction and you have a lot of RPM, you will broke the pump because the torque will be excess. Okay, uh, five. When we discharge, we put two pumps working and one pump is standby. In small ships, you do not need to do this. Okay. For those who know, they will understand and they will refresh also their knowledge. Okay. Number six. In the return of uh, oil tank, uh, there is uh, two safety valves. Okay. One sa safety valve is set on six bars and the other one in twelve bars. Okay. Number seven. The system have a sensor. Uh, which is set in uh, 50 degrees and it's open the circulation for the cooling 
to the cooler, oil, oil cooler, okay? And in 30 degrees, it's closed again. Okay, so have one sensor, degrees open, then to cooler, okay, for cooling the oil. Sure, the oil will be heat. Uh, when the time is passing and the oil is circulated through the system, high pressure is obtained. High pressure means uh, excess heat, okay, and high flows also will produce heat, so the oil will increase in temperature, so we need to cool, uh, cool down our oil. This is correct. Number eight, four times in a year we take samples four times per year. That means every three months we take samples. Number nine, 2.5 at 2.5 bar differential pressure, it's set the central filter, okay? A central filter of oil. That means if differential pressure drops 2.5 bars, there will be one alarm and the number 10 here is when the alarms hit uh, and you listen it uh, of oil this filter alarm that means it's uh, stuck okay you can uh, discharge you can continue your discharge and after that when you finish your discharging you can change it okay number 11 all the alarms, uh, all the other alarms, you must to pick them, okay? If you have this uh, kind of alarm of uh, differential pressure of oil, you can discharge, okay? But if any other alarm come, comes, you need to fix it. Number 12, you do not need to open, ah, you do not uh, need to change uh, the filter every time, okay? Let's go to number 13. Ah, we never put oil uh, direct to the tank, okay? We put first to storage tank the oil, and after that, uh, we transfer with one pump through the filters, okay? We never put direct oil to the system, to the pipes, okay? Direct, we never put like that. First, we put in storage. Why we make this? We make this because in storage tank, if there is any impurities, they will separate by the force of gravity and they will go down slowly. And through the filter, this will be cleaned. Okay, one page will finish, number two page, and 14. Not 14. There is uh, four filters in the system, okay? Number 15. When the system is working of the pump, uh, you can see there is a magnet which collects uh, some pieces and some pieces maybe of metal, okay? This magnet, sure. And uh, when the circuit will be closed, there is alarm. Okay, coming alarm. This is the number 16. The alarm of oil, this kind of alarm, uh, have name We Are Indication. And it's uh, close to the line uh, where we stop. Uh, it's, it's close to the line of oil, okay, this uh, kind of magnet. Uh, what we do, we stop the power pack number one. And we start power pack number two. This is what we do. Number 17. Uh, if you clean the sensor of weir, okay, indication, and uh, you will have uh, the same alarm, we do not uh, working, we do not operate the system, okay? We're looking for what is happening inside. Number 18. The weir indication shows what is going on inside the pump okay this is indication of what is going inside the condition number 19 every six months 
uh, we clean this uh, weird indication. Okay. Uh, number 20, I have here one sign, which means uh, this is hydraulic sign. I don't know if you see it good. This is uh, one circle, and inside the circle have one R. This means a variable pump indication of variable pump. Okay, let's go to number 23 because 22 have some indication. This is also very important. 23, uh, we must not touch the settings. This is very important. The settings we must not touch because if you change the settings, you change every parameters of working of your pumps. And this is the danger. Okay. 25. After 20, uh, 10 seconds, uh, we'll close power pack and diesel will make. Uh, After 10 seconds, close power pack. Uh, this is uh, let's see what is this power pack diesel. I don't know this. I will not say this thing. Better I will search this information. Okay. And uh, let's go to 26. The, there is a safety valve, which is open 1.5 uh, times more. Than uh, maximum pressure, okay. There is some protection safety valve to protect the system for overpressure, okay. Because overpressure can produce explosion, and this is very dangerous for human. Uh, number 27 isolating valve, open manual valve, close system pressure control valve. Ah, this is what read. Uh, next, we will continue to number 28. Yeah, uh, if uh, there is not increase in pressure in the system, 99% this is uh, the unloading valve of problem. Okay, uh, we will find it if we put the other power pack to work, and uh, we will see if the one is uh, increased pressure or. The other will not increase, okay. This is very nice notes which maybe help someone. I will keep them, maybe in the future I will use them, I don't know, but I will keep them. Okay, 30. If uh, system pressure controller valve is not working. We close the isolating valve and we put the manometer. We open the manual pressure control valve and manometer must show 60-65 bar. To increase pressure, to increase pressure, okay, I close with Allen close with Allen to increase pressure. This is the procedure, okay? 31. HPU leak. If hit this alarm, HPU leak. If hit this alarm, we go and uh, we look for detector. Okay? 33. We must work the system as soon as uh, we need terminal okay and uh, we must not overload them a lot this is very important we must load them as uh, quite we believe the system is working properly and this we can see also from specification of uh, manufacturer of this uh, pram of pumps and uh, 34 the old system have battery and we change it every five years. 
35 if you like to set an other power pack in uh, situation mode 2 you make unload and uh, then load okay uh, 36 when you make test you make test at zero bar uh, about 60 65 no full 37 there is a box which you put uh, in balance in, in occasion you cannot work mode 2 or number uh, mode 1 and mode number 2 okay uh, 38 the box of these have uh, instructions uh, how to do that okay there is a box if you cannot work on num mode 1 and mode 2 uh, 39 the temperature of oil 20 to 60 this is uh, normal temperature 35 to 50 this is the best okay 60 is alarm 40 if you have three pumps and the temperature will increase you must uh, ah if the temperature will increase uh, the system will drop one pump and it uh, will work only one okay there is some protections uh, on the system and the last page 41 there are some notes about physics pressure and flow they go together in hydraulics 42 the backup valve uh, the backup valve take the flow 43 when the temperature increase the oil will check also the cooling uh, the heating valve and the backup valve uh, when we close uh, stripping when we close uh, stripping okay uh, uh, probably will be heated okay uh, 44 for heating okay one power pack is needed one power pack maximum 100 bars and uh, we must not to overdo them these are 100 bars we must not uh, pass them to heat the oil uh, because if we pass this the CST, CST that means the viscosity of oil will be destroyed okay if the pressure is increased 45 highlight uh, highlighted oil ah uh, this is uh, the purity of oil the highlight 46 every time we must to have uh, one oil for the we must have for hydraulics oils one pump and one pump for normal oil we must not mix the oils okay very important oil. 47 uh, the oil must be uh, not not more than code 1612 okay must be little less than code 1612 this is correct okay uh, 48 the beta beta plays a big role for the filter okay better 49 when we have one pump working uh, and uh, we change this uh, in this pump all the oil okay inside there will remain 10 percent and uh, we say to the company that we have 10 percent of contamination and we ask them if it's good okay product inspection is very important okay and uh, for wear ring there is
some uh, sign AB 0.3 millimeters is good for the ring. One millimeter is uh, too much. Okay. Uh, for the copper dam, the pressure for the test is three bar, and for the oil is six bar. Okay, this is it. I believe uh, I help you a lot with this uh, note. I know it's difficult to understand without uh, any schematics, uh, but I will try in the future to make much better and show some interesting things. Okay, thank you for watching. Stay tuned in Adventure Story about Marine Engineering. Bye bye.